What's good, homies? This is Chris from the Small Hat Crew, joined today by Small Hat Nick and Manny from Manny Fest. Yellow. No, nothing you want to say, Nick? <laughs> oh, I just thought we're... I don't know. I feel like every time we do an intro, you just kind of move into it, and I don't have time to say anything. Well, I mean, here's your window. The world's listening. It's all, though. The world's your oyster. The, the window's open. The air's coming in. Take it away. Oh, this game. Okay, well, we'll just be moving on then. All right, I should have, yeah. I should stick to the norm. Um, you okay, should've. so we have a bunch of brand new leaders we're going to be looking at today. Um, we got two new Thriller Bark leaders. Both of them look really solid. One I like a lot more than the other. Uh, me and Manny are both a very big fan of Gecko Mario. Um, I guess before we hop into that one though, there's one that we are late to the party on reviewing, so we'll go ahead and start with him. That's going to be. Hody Jones, Green Leader, 5 Life, Power 5000, Strike. He has Fishman and New Fishman Pirates. I thought he had Fishman Pirates and New Fishman Pirates for a second. His effect is Activate Main. You may rust this leader. Rust up to one of your opponent's characters that costs three or less, or one of their Dawn. That's so random. Then, during this turn, you cannot add life cards to your hand through your own effects. Thoughts? He's pretty bad. You think I, so? I, I think yeah. any leader that says rest this leader and it doesn't have the effect it cannot attack is already a bad effect because now you're making me choose to do i swing or do i rest him to rest essentially a blocker which the blocker was gonna block his attack anyways so it's like i'm doing a nerf attack well because because it's not just like you don't just have to you know like rest blockers for example there's just little things to like Okikus and things like that. You can tap down. Um, I was God. The only like three in like yellow is Peril's Peril, really. I guess with thinking in the context of what he's coming out with. I mean, Law will still be good. You can tap down their shit. Yeah, you tap down Law and then just beat over their board, to make them have to work for the shambles again. He's yeah. not awful. I do like that he gives you the choice at the very least, rather than just saying this leader can't attack because that's fucking miserable. I hate True. that shit. Um, I will say though. Because while he reads very, very bad on paper, he reads fucking abysmal on paper, actually. Yeah. If his if his ability is made to synergize or to prevent you from taking life, usually effects that take life are very strong. So that means yeah. his support's probably going to be really strong. They're probably going to have really strong effects. Anything you would want, you want to weigh in on this one, Nick, or Manny, or either of you? <laughs> I would oh. just... Go ahead, Nick. Why the fuck is Hody Jones a leader, bro? There's so many more important characters that could have been a leader with this set. Hordy Jones, go. you're right, you're right. A handcuff leader, bro. No, like, for real. You're 100% right, because Hordy Jones' whole arc is just him getting slapped around by Luffy. There's not that even man, a point. He was there's not even underwater. a point. Yeah, that man's getting his ass beat underwater on fucking a handful of steroids. He's got, like, 30 like, pills. <laughs> like, like, and... Man's and, getting and rocks in a bubble. Luffy was never in a danger situation when fighting him. The only reason Luffy almost died is because he went a mano a mano with Noah's Ark. Well, if he was shit in the anime, then this could potentially be them holding true. <laughs> you know, this could be the flavor. He could be shit in the game, potentially. Uh, so I guess, on a scale of one to five, what would you rate this leader? Get, get, actually, I guess before we do, we will review one of his new cards so that we have some context. True. So we've only seen one new, new oh, Fishman Pirate so far, and it is Ikaros Muhi. Five cost, six thousand power slash fishman, new fishman pirates, one thousand counter. On play, if your leader's type is new fishman pirates, play up to one four cost or lower fishman character card from your hand. Then add the top card of your life to your hand. This card confuses me. Not not like, like I'm confused as to how he's worked. I'm confused as to like how he was designed. Yeah. Because so, so he, it, literally the only leader, I guess, at this time that can play him, that only new Fishman Pirates leader we have is, is Horty Jones him? himself. So the, the random, like, then at the top card of your life to your hand, it's, it's, it's so random because the only leader that can even use him literally prevents that. Oh, wait, no, you could potentially just not tap yeah. the leader yeah, and yeah, still yeah. take the life. It gives you the option. Okay. Yeah, so that's actually, that's actually not yeah, one thing. Not awful. The oh, one... life isn't a cost, it's part of the effect, so if you yeah. use that as real life, yeah. your ability isn't dead, it's... so if they can cheat out blockers or shit like that. Yeah, it's it's just like white beard basically. Um so I guess I guess 
with the context of of this going back to our leader what, what would you rate this boy on a scale of, of one to five i say like a two and a half for now until we see more of what he gets i'll give him a three i'll give him a three for the fact that it's like when you if you are in that law matchup or in that white beard matchup and they have the one dawn for the radical beam you just tap him take away the one dawn is like cool fuck your radical beam yeah i did one random dawn is actually like it, it, it can be relevant. Uh, I mean, Whitebeard isn't seen played by that point anymore anyway. But like, it, and then like that will be relevant. There's Dofi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the Dofi needs two, and then like, yeah, the Dofi player is gonna restand the two. Then you hit him for the one, and then like, unless, unless they're playing they're the Paradise Beard Waterfall events. or yeah. the Zero Cost, all their two cost uh, events are dead now. So a bunch like, of bricks in that hand all of a sudden. Like, I'm pretty sure he has strong matchups. I'm pretty sure he has very well, strong matchups. But, like, it's just the fact that we don't have his card pool. And to all the other, you know, people that write in the comments that are like, oh, well, you know, like, Purple Luffy, you guys said he was bad. And then, you know, like, well, we only knew the one guy. So, you know, I don't want to fall in that whole trap again. So, you know, as of right yeah. now, in a vacuum community, he's like a three. <laughs> I was he's also like going to give him a three. He doesn't strike me as offensively bad whatsoever. He doesn't really seem exceptionally good either. If all of his support's going to be as good as the other card that we just read, though, literally a five cost character that plays a four cost on a six k body that's so good and then the it's fact also, he still has counter i was about to say there's a lot of five six that just don't have counter especially in green like uh basil hawkins and law mm -hmm. both five sixes none of them have counter power yeah like that card's actually really good i think if that hadn't been like leader leader locked whatsoever that'd be just because like you could play him in like arlong for example and then cheat out like a chew or a Karubi yeah. or whatever, you know, from your hand. And then, like, your leader could then attack and then cheat out a trigger from hand as well. So, like, he would get stupid really fast. Um, this is just a really, really good card. I have... If this is... We've only seen one card so far, and it's a really good card, so... Um, while I do think that they're probably going to give him a lot of good cards, him being mono green and a set where we're getting a leader like yellow, green Yamato... I don't know if this will be enough, but he seems like he wouldn't be awful. You know, he's not going to be, um, I think if, the, I think if he were to not see play, I think it'd be like a, a Isho scenario where like, mm -hmm. he's a fine leader, but you know, it's, it's just, he's outclassed. Hear me, thing. hear me out. Do you think maybe, and then like, this could just me be like on copium right now, but like, do you think maybe if you're, if you're playing Horty Jones against the Yamato, you kind of just like rush down your life like you'll block the first one but then you play like i, I mean i would imagine there's like a three cost version of him you know so like you play the three cost that plays like another body and then like and then but you actually eat up your life so then the double attack from your motto is kind of like you know what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let you have the advantage of the double attack i'm just gonna eat my own life and i don't know Maybe. i don't know I, I've thought about stuff like that for like other. I thought about that like with Whitebeard, for example, and random things. Um, yeah. I don't know though, because it's like you do deny them their ability of double attack, but then at that point, you're still losing. Like it doesn't really matter, yeah, because you've put yourself on your like last legs anyway. So, yeah. like, regardless, just the ability existing kind of did its job, regardless. It just made you take all the attacks. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Um, I guess with that being said though, so it sounds like we all agree. It's a. Th it He's I say three. Mediocre. Enough. Yeah, he's. I also agree three. We're about to move on to our next leader. I have been so excited for Perona leader. You have no idea. It's so funny too, because like when we knew we were getting a Thriller Bark leader, people there was so much debate over whether or not it would be Perona or Gecko Moria, and the community was kind of divided on which you wanted. I wanted Perona personally. Um, funny because now I don't think I'm going to be playing Perona between the two Thriller Bark leaders. But yeah, the Bandai gave us both of them, so now you're free to choose. And now that I got the leader that I want, I don't think I'm going to play her. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to play Gecko over her. I guess we'll jump into what she does. We have green black leader, 5,000 power, special, four life, of course, thriller, bark pirates, activate main. Once per turn, choose one of the following effects. Rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less. Or up to one of your opponent's characters gets minus one cost during this turn. She just has smoker's effect. And then she also just has Isha's effect, but she doesn't have to attack. Both her effects just activate on main. That's we're like we're seeing this isn't like an egregious example, but we are seeing power creep. Yeah. This is this is power creep here. Like she just does it for free because she wants to. Um 
Smoker's always kind of just done it. Wait, no. Well, there's a difference well, between the two. Like, there's a difference between two because the smoker gains gains a thousand, which Attack, pain, yeah. which, which, is, which puts them in, in puts them in that seven k range. And then the e show, even though she does them for free, you only get to pick one of them. While the e show picks, you're able to do both of them. Yeah, but e show takes a dawn to do it. And plus, I, what I do like about her is because I, I don't even think that's the better. is also an AOE minus one, not just a one carry. One. Yeah. 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 Um, so there's do, a trade-off there. There is a trade-off there. I do think that she has the better effect, though. I do like that she can just rest a four or less. I, I, like, I would have thought on a leader ability, it would have been like rest a three or less for free. The fact that it's just, it reaches four is fucking insane to me. Um, the fact that she can just tap down most blockers in the game. For yeah. her, and she doesn't do, like, she, like, we just saw Horty Jones is tapping himself to tap. She just does it. There's no downside to it whatsoever. And if you don't, if it's not a relevant effect for the turn, you just minus something instead. She just gives you so much versatility. She also has the Thriller Bark Pirates tag. Um, I don't know. I'm really, I like her a lot. I just don't like her as much as our other Thriller Bark leader. I think she's yeah. really good. I think with the Thriller Bark support cards, the two that we do have, the Lion Dude, I always forget his name. Um, Absalom? Uh, yeah, Absalom. Uh, because, uh, because he pops two or lesses. The, um, yeah. With, I mean, with her, like his range becomes threes, which is a much better number. Um, so like, so there's something to say there. And then obviously, yeah. so Good. like, so, so I'm pretty sure, her, I'm pretty sure her support cards are going to help support her more. And I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't have her own event. She also just like works with all, just like black in general, for example, like. Like a Kobe, she could just lower something by one. Kobe's now popping fours, and then Kobe actually put a, also put a card in the discard pile. That's the Thriller Bark Pirate that you could probably recycle from there or something. Yep. Assuming they get more support that does that. I like this leader a lot. I, I think they she might have that with someone like four or fives that recycles Thriller Barks from trash, but like yeah. Astrid Sword pops fours, fives with this, or hits sevens, or um, because I think Master Sword hits a six if you have fifteen in trash, right? Um, so it's it a hits... six, yeah. So it hits sevens with this leader. There you go. Yeah, this leader seems... She seems really good. I think she could end up falling into... Funny, funnily enough, because she is black-green, I do think it comes back to the Isha situation again, where, um... Because, I don't know, the being able to just take board whenever you want is so good. To be able to just turn a body sideways... Because only in red. With red, for example, they can rush, they can put a body on board and rush with it, and now it's already served its purpose. Every other color puts the body on board. And then she could just tap it down and then beat over it before it ever gets to do anything. That is true. So, you know, you're playing against like Zoro, for example. If Zoro can't establish any bodies, then like, what's he, what's he even doing? Um, because you know, like she can tap a body and then like beat over it, and then she's playing black, so she could pop other bodies too. I mean, she's also playing rain, so she can tap something, play extra, pop it. Yeah, yeah. Like I think she's going to be. I think she, she's really, really good on paper. Um, and she just she reminds me a lot of. Isho. Isho. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really could see her in the same predicament as Isho where she's good, but um there there's she better potential. by other decks, yeah. Yeah, especially and then we have to also take into consideration she is a four life leader coming out in OPO six again with Yamato. I hate to say it repeatedly, but I think that's so relevant. It really is. It really is because like the fact that Yamato just exists, four life leaders are just always in this in the in this in this threatening position where you lose in three attacks. Yeah, Yamato domes you one time and now you're at half your life already. Um and then you also have to take into consideration yellow was already favorable into four life leaders. And then Yamato's just adding double attack into the equation, so um I don't know. I, I could see Piranha being a good card, but like not being able to keep up. I, I mean, I guess as we see more Thriller Bark Pirates, there's potential here. Uh, one thing I also do like this set is that this is the first set where we have gotten dual leaders and they have released support for both colors. Every other set, you know, like, like I don't know. Um, we got purple Animal Kingdom Pirates and then a set of uh, two sets later, three sets later, we got blue Animal Kingdom Pirates. Oh, I get you now. Yeah, purple crocodile. We got the the blue baroque works, and then yeah. four sets, three sets later, we got the purple. Yeah, this is the first set where we're getting we're getting black thriller bark, and we're also getting green thriller bark at the same time. So, I mean, it looks like Bandai's trying to they're going to do everything in their power to make it work, which is surprising considering they didn't do anything for Isho at all. Isho got no new cards in OPO four. So, I will say this: if we get a thriller bark chump blocker. 
Because I'm assuming... Oh, yeah, no. Uh, because I'm assuming... Because everyone gets gets one, a searcher. I, I, right. I'm assuming Throw Blocker is going to have a searcher. If they have a searcher and they have a chump blocker, I would give her a four. I would give her a, a, a solid four. If, if But those two conditions have to be met. That they... A thriller bark has to have their own chump blocker and a searcher. So I think if they do get a searcher, if they do get a chump blocker, um, I think, it, I mean, obviously, I guess it benefits her, but I think it would be much better because we've already seen in black they don't get one cost blockers, right? So that means at minimum they're they have one uh, now, but it sort of has like a requirement of having to have the ton of cards in trash. Yeah. So realistically, it would probably be that they would get a. a a two cost blocker and two cost blockers always have counter um so that would be amazing for a leader like gecko moria so i guess we'll move on to him so we can actually discuss that but do you um, want to rate perona first or um uh, you gave her a four we... depending upon uh, i'd say 3.5 i'm also gonna say a 3.5 cool. i think she's a 3.5 because uh because i think the next leader i would probably give a higher rating to and I'm never going to give him a 5 because oh, bro, I'm giving five, that boy a 5 I'm giving that no, boy a 5 bro because if y'all okay we'll move on to the next leader then because because if Yamato's a 5 he's nowhere near her level but okay okay so we'll but he's a 4.8 like <laughs> all right we have Gecko Moria black 5 life 5,000 power special 7 he's very special 7 warlords <laughs> of the sea and thriller bark pirates dawn times 1 when attacking tap 2 Discard. Oh, he's the opposite. So discard one card from your hand, put the yeah. top two cards of your deck into the trash, and play one Thriller Bark Pirates character with a cost of four or less from the trash. So, so he's the opposite of Delphi, who requires one Dawn on leader and tapping two. Yes, this leader, because this leader pretty much is, well, well, I guess coming back to the chump blocker thing we we're talking about, like yellow, for example, yellow just dies to blockers, consistent blockers. Remember, like Marco, for example, their worst matchup was Whitebeard because. They couldn't they couldn't deal with marco um if he ever at any point sees a blocker and he uses it and it dies and goes to the discard pile every turn he could just keep bringing it back yep. any card he needs if if there is ever a specific thing that he needs to do so long as it exists in the discard pile he could bring it back whatever he wants yep. even at any point in the say, game so long it, as it exists in archetype yeah yeah that's um so long as because even if the effect isn't relevant now, you can always just discard it for counter and then bring it back when it is relevant. Yep. Like, he's going to be so insane. I think this leader is going to be amazing. He will never be in a top deck situation, assuming he gets enough support to... Because, like, realistically, if he's ever in a situation where he has a, he draws a bad card, he doesn't like it, he just discard it and then bring back something he does like, you know? Even a blocker, for example. He, he could, if, if the game ever gets reduced to that point, he could always potentially... um swing he could usually just just swing for a really big number and then play a blocker and hide behind that like i think he's gonna be so good and then we'll get into like cards that he is going to be that are like gonna come out to support him so i guess before we move on to those cards we'll go ahead and rate this leader um unless like you guys want to weigh in on him first i, I imagine you do i because man you like this leader as much as i do and i think oh my god it. yes um so like i'm just a sucker for decks that allow me to use the grave as yeah. like my second hand where yeah, like that like player in us. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> because because the thing is, it's like what made Dolphy ap appealing in set one was like you know like yes I I, I um I'm stacking my deck and 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 in the top five cards on my deck is almost like a secondary hand where I get to play from it. But yeah. with this, it's that I'm not limited to me stacking myself. The longer the game goes, the more powerful I will be because my options are only growing. Yeah, and it, and, it, and, it, and it's one of those things where it's that like, where it's that like sometimes, sometimes, b because of the mechanics of the game, unlike other card games where because we have counter, mm -hmm. I can have the busted card in my hand, and I go, okay, cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that as counter. All right, I'm yeah. not gonna bring it back. And he brings back four of us, so yeah. the odds are pretty high that the card that he's that like you want to bring back it probably has counter because most, unless they get the vanilla stats, most four and less characters do get counter. Yep, yep. Um, I was going to say one thing that I also really like about him is that like because he's just always playing from the discard pile for example but also like even if you have a card in your hand like it's not set up in the discard yet or whatever you could always just potentially discard it 
and then bring that same card back. You yep. know, just cheat it out for for two dawn. Like this lead is going to be insane. Oh my god, I think this lead is gonna be so good. I think yep. it's gonna be so fucking good. I uh, this would be the first time I would ever want to play black. What do you say, Nick? Oh, I was just saying, one hundred percent. I agree. Uh, yeah, this Tudor's is gonna be a solid four and a half minimum. Yeah, I think I'm also gonna give him a four and a half. Um, I'll give him a four point eight. And then there's also things like I guess like I mentioned with Perona, there are things like Kobe, for example, too. Yeah, Sakazuki, you just pitch it, put it in the discard, then swing with this guy, and then bring it right back. A staple black card, Sabo, in every black deck. Oh, that's right. Yep, you play yeah. Sabo, draw two discard two, so you didn't even lose advantage, and then you just swing with this dude, and then this your guys are protected. Ball. He's he's gonna be so I can't wait to play this leader. I genuinely cannot. All this time, because in most like when it comes to card games, black is usually manipulating discard pile. And one piece is I feel like they've been very like, like I don't know, stingy oh, yeah. about manipulating the discard. So I've never had any interest in black. Black up to this point has just been can't be KO'd by card effects and um popping stuff, and I haven't really cared about that. I feel like if I want to pop stuff, I'd rather just play red, you know? Or if I if I really want to remove, I'll just play blue. I haven't really cared for black at all as a color. This is this is me swapping on it. If they're gonna start heavily supporting discard pile now, black becomes my new favorite color. It's like not even close. I think they're slowly trying to change black's identity because I guess they realized that black was just like this different like like it was a different type of red. It was like a Pepsi Coca-Cola situation. Yeah. The only difference was that black had effect protection from destruction. But that's not even really an issue right now in the game because Red Rock and, th and 3000 Worlds are the best removal in the game. Yeah. And so, like, destruction is kind of like, I would prefer you to destroy my things than to bottom deck my things. Yeah, also, too, because it's like, um, for example, if you're playing red and you're playing black and you're going into blue, like you're saying, your KO doesn't, protection doesn't do anything. Whereas red still, what the other thing they have is rush, you know? Yeah. So you're, you're just playing red without rush at that point. And I don't know. I'm, I'm just I'm just not too big. And also another thing is because red, it's their cards are like so efficient and like lower to the ground. So a lot of them do have counter. Whereas a lot of black cards do not. There's just a lot of reasons to play red over black. It just had a better color pool and everything. But now that we're going to start playing out the discard pile, because you saw like, I think it was OP03 with CP9 where they finally started acknowledging playing yeah. from discard. Yeah. Um, and the, like that, that I didn't wasn't even a fan of that because like it was limited to like Bluno for example. Um, yeah. But this is great. Now you can just do it whenever you feel like it, just on a yeah. whim. It's I'm gonna love this so much. This is definitely gonna be my leader of OPO six. Yeah. I don't care if Yamato's beating my ass. I will I will happily play this leader over that. At least I'll enjoy the game. And then the Ooh. best part and the best part is the card that follows this one. Oh yeah, oh. we haven't talked about his support yet. Oh okay, my so god. Then, let's go ahead and start talking about what the actual thriller bar characters are that Perona and Gekko are gaining access to. We have Dr. Hogback, black character, four cost, 5,000 power, wisdom, thriller bark pirates. On play, return two cards from your trash to the bottom of your deck in any order. Put up to one thriller bark card other than Dr. Hogback from your trash to your hand. So this is Gekko Moria's, funnily enough, Gekko Moria. Hear, hear me yeah. out. <laughs> hear me out. This is what you do. You're on six dawn, right? Mm -hmm. You go... You go... You go, play Kobe, discard the doctor, pop a card. Swing with Gecko Moria. Use effect, add, uh, play the doctor, doctor, add a card back to your hand. You pop the card, and you plus an advantage. God, if they ever give Thriller Bark Pirates a 2k, it's getting recycled repeatedly. It's it'll, It would be one of the only decks where you could guarantee... It infinitely chain. I was gonna say it'd be this would be like the only deck where you could consistently loop that same 2k over and over and over again because like Dofi, once he cheated out Gecko Moria, you know like you had to see another Gecko Moria from like the, the top of the deck yeah. or, or play it or something. Once this guy dies, so he's he's you establish a free 5k body that you can swing into the opposing leader, and then if he dies, you just bring it right back and you pick your 2k up again and you just keep doing that yep. for two dawn. He's going to be so insane! Oh my god, I. I don't. The crazy part is too is like, as amazing as this leader is, the fact that I don't think he's the best leader of the set is, yeah, that's so upsetting. <laughs> that is so upsetting. Hear me out. Yamato is a six out of five. Gecko Mori is just a five out of five. 
Okay, you know what? I would agree to that. I, I would agree with that. 100% actually. Oh, the other black card isn't in our links and reveals channel for some reason. They're Absol or whatever his name is. Absol, Absol yeah. I guess it got oh, deleted because it says it right here. It, it, it says original message delete. I guess it got deleted on mistake. Gecko Moria? He might probably just end up hard, like losing to blue because like you might never get the body in the discard pile because they might just 3000 world it and now it just never hits grave. <laughs> Well, the thing is, the gecko discards and mills too, so there's always something in grave. You're right. You're right. That's true, actually. Discards off of his own effects, so you can just discard a card and play that card immediately. Oh, that leader's so fucking stupid. And then, like, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, so you're gonna pay four on my two cost, dude. All right. Yeah. That's fine. I'm sure there's still comfortable with because like for instance every time like dofi cheated a, a boa off the top i was always okay with jet pistoling it you know i'll spend four for like a even if it only cost them one to bring it out it's like but yeah know, a four on board but, basically so i'll do that every day but yeah but it's slightly different with gecko because before it's that is that with dofi you had a stack and they always have your stack going for you to always oh. plus off it like so like so like there were turns where you would have to slow down and be like i have to play dolphy not because he's a blocker because i need a stack or i need to play this perona because i need to i need a stack well i was Gecko already... is just like oh got... look let me look at my grave okay cool. things, i was already about to say i agree with you because i thought you were going somewhere else with that um yeah. but like against red for example like if i do bring my body out the discard pile and like you jet pistol it for example it goes right back it to great again next turn. Let's do <laughs> <Yeah>. it again. <laughs> it's like, all right, cool, cool. Yeah. Wow, I lost the vantage, winky face. Yeah. Oh. oh I'm so I'm so excited for for Gecko. I I think he will be the first time that I will just genuinely be enjoying One Piece again, and not be having to like like trying to enjoy One Piece because like right now it's like I'm not OP05 or OP04. It's like I am enjoying it because I'm playing Blurple Crocodile, but also I'm playing Blurple Crocodile because I want to enjoy One Piece again. So I'm like gifting yes. myself essentially. Whereas Gecko would just be me playing a competent leader and enjoying it. Back to like in OPO1 where Luffy was good. And I just played him because I liked playing him, you know? No, of course. It's it's because it hasn't been that for a minute. Now it, it's like all the metal leaders just seem so not fun to play. So, you're enjoying set four more than set three, but you're still not enjoying One Piece. I think why, because I'm enjoying, I'm really enjoying Blurple Crocodile, I'm not going to lie, but yeah. I, I don't really think it'd be, like, that would even be like an accomplishment, because I just didn't enjoy OPO3 at all, like, I just stopped playing the game, <laughs> I just took a break, I took a break <laughs> and stopped uploading to YouTube, like, <laughs> alright, uh, next character would be Absalom, 4 cost character, 5,000 power, ranged, Thriller Bark Pirates, on play, you may return 2 cards from your trash to the bottom of your deck in any order, KO up to 1 character with a cost of 2 or less. He's in black, the, co the color that can manipulate cost. Yep. Literally, I remember, so I was talking about this with Nick and Garen earlier. We've had a card like Ice Age, for example, and I, it probably still won't see play, but a card like Ice Age never saw play because it was like a moving part. It didn't do anything on its own and it required you to see the, um, like if you learn something by five, you need another card to take advantage of that and actually pop it. Gecko yeah. Moria will be the first leader where he could just run Ice Age and whenever he wants to use Ice Age, he can just do it and then bring the Absalom back from the discard pile and pop a seven. Yep. It, it's always live to him. So long as, as long as he sees one Absalom, he can do that for the rest of the game. Yep. So yep. Ice Age becomes very, time. very good. It's it, Ice, Ice Age basically becomes a three cost pop a seven K on a five K body or seven cost and then establish a five K body. It's going to be so absurd. I don't know, like because Ice Age, because that was the problem with the black and Ice Age, it was just so, if you didn't see the other card that did it, it was a brick in your hand, it doesn't have counter, it's an event, it just doesn't do anything, it's a bat top deck. Um, but yeah, th this card will literally never be dead. This card will never be dead in, in Gecko Moria. So, he, like, he's, I feel like he's gonna do a lot, like, with Black, Blue, Sakazuki, he kind of made blue cards. He made a lot of mediocre cards, just a lot better. I think Gecko Moria is going to do the same thing just because he has a toolbox at his disposal just sitting there in the discard pile waiting to be used whenever it's relevant. You know, if, if I if I top deck a Ice Age, all of a sudden I can pop a 7 on the board. If I need a blocker, 
I can always just bring back the other guy and pick up my, my chump blocker, assuming we get one, or my 2k. He's going to be so absurd. And then, like, it's just, like, the utility of him. But he's he's establishing bodies in the process. He's building a board. He's going to be so good. Oh, my God. This, this card will be... I can't picture. Yeah. I can't ever picture this. And that's just Gecko Moria. Then, also, we have, you know, Perona. She can always lower things and make him pop threes he becomes a four cost character that can pop three cost characters that's so good it's kobe with no discard true true i will say um uh, because usually in the set there um uh, if there's the leader there's the character version of the new leader um that's always been a case in every set so i can only imagine that the character gecko moria that you would play in the deck either does a huge mill dump or he does an extra summon, you know? Nick, where are you talking about a card like Poop? Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a one drop card in black called Corgi, or it's on play. I was say poop. Look at the top five. It's same deal. Look at the top five cards in your deck, trash two of them, and then put the rest on the bottom of your deck. So you just get to big five, throw whatever cards that you want to play out of trash into the trash, and then, you know, your leader effects live for one done. Yeah. yeah, and because this lets literally, that is literally a searcher for Gecko Moria. Because I mean, and every other leader, like you add it to the hand, the discard is Gecko Moria's hand. And it, true. it literally is, except you're dumping two cards now. It's so, it's so good. I, you know, I've, I don't think I've ever been, aside from Red Purple Luffy, and I wanted to play Red Purple Luffy. I was excited for the degeneracy that was coming with him. This is the first leader I'm actually just going to genuinely look forward to, to playing just because I enjoy the play style so much. It, it looks like it's going to be so fun. I would be so upset if Bandai dropped the ball on him and didn't give him cards that mattered. Even if they just give him a, uh, like, um, Dofi, a 4-6 vanilla, that would be big, even. You know, if he ever needs a beat stick, there it is. Yeah, I am very sad. Both of the Thriller Bark Pirates leaders cannot play any of the blue Thriller Bark Pirates. Oh, I know, Are there bro, even like... any besides Gecko? Perona? Yeah, Perona. Oh, yeah, and Perona. I don't even know if you'd want to play Perona in this deck. No, 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 you want it because the thing is like you're already like milling your stuff and you and, and you don't want to stack your stuff. You like you you wouldn't mind just throwing it all to the grave. If yeah. we had a card, if we had a card like six cents and uh, in one piece, bro. <laughs> God ooh. forbid power keep ever get to that point. <laughs> I quit. The moment dice get introduced into into the mechanics of One Piece, Hell that yeah, would be oh, yeah. rolling. No, I'm down for some Morphtronic cell phone. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I am too. Man, if if dice ever hit this game, it's gonna be fucking yellow. It's going to be a color like yellow. The degeneracy, the the, the RNG, just variance and luck. I I hate yellow so much as a color. I really Same. do. Same. Also, oh, we didn't yeah. rate the other two. Oh yeah, well we didn't rate. We, we haven't rated any yeah, characters. I figured we were probably just rating leaders and. Oh, okay, that's fine. Players. That's fine. I just, uh, I just wanted to make sure we're all. On okay, okay. All right, yeah. <laughs> I'll take next one. All right, so we'll go ahead and move on to our final character. So we have Ryuma, green character. Oh, I was gonna say OPO six. Green character, four cost, six thousand power slash Wano Country Thriller Bark Pirates. So he's a Wano. He's searchable. He's a green Wano card. Yep. Uh, on play and on KO, KO up to one of your opponent's rusted characters with a cost of four or less. This card's absurd. This card's it's actually really good. Holy better. shit, this card's it's fucking a, stupid. This is a 3-6 in Kinemon. It is. A 3-6 in Kinemon that pops a body, and then the minute he dies. He does pop it up. Oh my yep. god, this leader is so... This leader, this character is so good. It forces your opponent to either have to kill it with the leader, or kill it with something bigger. But if you drop this... Like, if you drop it on curve, that means your opponent... Like, especially if you're going against a red player, he goes, play Zoro, swing with Zoro. You're like, cool. Play this, kill the Zoro. Then on your turn, you're gonna swing with it. On his turn, on his six, on his uh, on his eight dawn turn. No, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His eight dawn turn or his seven dawn turn. He's gonna have to be like, do I have to invest at least one dawn into my leader to try to kill this, or do I swing a character into it and then the character's gonna die because this died? Tell you what, I'm gonna hate about this character. Mm. With him being a green Wano. He is searchable. Yep. Along with Kiko Nojo or whatever, the other, the new 4 6 yellow um, Wano oh. card. So this card and that card will both be searchable off of Momonosuke. Both of them hit the board. 
and now that just that just means that now yamato will have two different bodies where if you take them off the board you're just punished severely you're losing a body or she's gaining a life yeah, well, i'm not like this leader or this character in perona uh perona makes his effect live for on place so you can rest something play him pop it mm -hmm. or he, she makes it so he hits a five cost rested character yeah, they couldn't give so this, this card to Gecko. This is just better ex <laughs> no, nah, wish Oh no, they, they so could not give this card badly. to Gecko. <laughs> bro, bro, could you imagine? Yes. Even though even though he only kills rested characters, be like, oh shit, cheat him out, boom, get a pop it. Pop that, pop it, pop oh it. Oh my god. The fact that like cause and you think too, like I was literally just talking about how good it would be just for Gecko just to get a four six vanilla. So even if you didn't get the effect off, it still comes back to just establishing a 6k body for two dawns. Fucking insane. Yep. If you do get the effect, it's insane. And even if you don't get the on-play effect, your opponent still has to play around the on-KO effect. It's, it's a body that, like, they would be afraid of just taking off the... I Like, Gecko could never... It would be such bullshit for this card to be sitting in the discard pile at all times and Gecko just recycling it repeatedly. <laughs> yep. God bless this card's green. I love Gecko, uh, but I... No. I, this card being black would make Gecko a, a, a six leader. Gecko is so fucking <laughs> absurd. Oh my god. I'm so excited for that leader. Um, I would, like, What would it even take? What do you think it would take to make him like a meta leader in OPO6 with Yam Yamato running around? Oh, um, I think it would just be a 2k. Um, a he'll have a 2k. He'll have a 2k. I'm not worried about him having a 2k. Because every R type gets a 2k. I think I think what it would take to make this leader amazing would be so you give him a chump blocker, just, just give him a little two cost blocker, uh, give him a 2k, and give him a oh my god I didn't even think like if they do give him a searcher even if it just dumps to discard, the the fact that like he'll just be able to search whenever he wants is fucking yep. ridiculous. Yep. He's gonna have to play cards to put stuff back into deck so he doesn't deck himself out. <laughs> I'm like I did just realize something, what? um, because 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 the first part of its effect is you do have to discard a card. Mm -hmm. ne technically, you don't even need another card. He's That's a self saying. he's a self fulfilling leader where it's like I don't even need any other pieces. If it's in my hand, I'll make it work. Yeah, like yep. He's going to be oh my god! I and then it's like what's so crazy about him too is let me make sure I'm not uh. Let me just oh, go back knows, and read him again, just yeah, make he sure. Knows two himself as well. Yeah, but melee two is questionable. Like you know, like you know, like you'll never know. But the fact that you get the discard from your hand. You, so you know, what I wanted to check was the fact that bodies don't even come out rested. Yep. They just what come the out. Fuck? Hey, what is? It's just OP one, OP R along, and this card are not, or this leader are not restricted. What is Bandai doing? What are they doing? <laughs> what is happening to this game? Oh my god. This is this is absurd. This is actually just Brother, there is a reason I sold out of this game. Yeah. Any closing thoughts? You sold out of it, maybe still play it. <laughs> yeah, no, I just sold all my sense and shit. Yeah, there we go. Any closing thoughts before we uh move on from this one and before we, we end this video? Uh, um all I can say is that I'm super excited for Gekka Moria. I'm equally excited for Perona because I'm pretty sure they're going to give her some really good, real good support. Uh, because like they're mooching off the off the off the, thr the thriller bark stuff. So like I'm excited for both of these leaders. But goddamn, Gecko Moria is 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 running on the heels of uh, running on the heels of Yamada. God, he is everything. I I don't know if I go that far, but I will say. Even if even if he never gets to that point, this leader is everything I want in a leader. I if I want to have fun, I will play some bullshit like Blurple Crocodile. <laughs> like <laughs> at the end of the day, no matter what, no matter how viable he ends up being, I'm playing him. I know that much for a fact. If I want to enjoy One Piece, I'm gonna be playing Gecko. It's not even a question. <laughs> yeah, and I, as far as cards we want to make this leader meta, I would love. I think we were talking about a little bit, uh, just a boss monster that can only be played from the trash pile. Uh, like some forecast, like big character that can just not it's like big ores. It can just yeah. only be played from trash. Oh, that'll be dope. Nah, yeah. I really like that. I really like that. Like you know, and then like even like a busted stat line kind of be like a four drop eight k. But obviously he can only be played from the trash. I think that's a bit much. <laughs> <All right. laughs> 
that's a bit much. That was a four seven. I was gonna say four seven. Yeah, it, I think you'd have to make like a four seven vanilla with no counter. To, to I'm just it. saying. I'm just saying. It took all the straw hat to take that boy down. Bro, we had zombie Luffy. That arc is so bad. <laughs> Alrighty, well then, I guess we're losing the plot, so <laughs> with that being said, until next time, uh, if you haven't already checked out Manifest, surely at some point, God, I, I hope he eventually comes back to YouTube, but until next time, we'll see you guys. See you guys. See ya.